thank you for joining me today for Young Kids Math. I'm Christina, and we are problem solvers. Well, today we have a lot planned. Now, we're going to start off talking about big, medium, and small. Big, medium, and small. Then we're going to read a book called Daddy Hugs. One, two, three. We're going to be practicing our numbers from one all the way to ten. We are going to read the book, Guess How Much I Love You. And we're going to be talking about just how far away the moon is. The International Space Station, Mars, and the Sun. And we're going to use this, an abacus, to talk about some really big numbers. All right, are we ready to get started? First, I'd like to point out that this is a big week here at Kennedy Space Center. This week, we have two big events. We have the launch for the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover. We're really excited about that. That's going to be on July 30th, and that is going to be at 7.50 a.m., nice and early in the morning. Now, also this week on August 2nd, Bob and Doug, who are at the International Space Station, they are going to splash down in their SpaceX Dragon capsule, and that'll be on August 2nd at 2.42 p.m. So we're really looking forward to these exciting events. All right, let's get started with some big, medium, and small. Big, which one's the big one? Definitely think this one's the biggest. Big, medium, hmm. small, big, medium, small, big, medium, small, big, 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 medium, small, small, small. Let's mix them all up and see if we can figure out which one goes where. What do you think this one says? Medium, medium. Which one's the medium one? Big, medium, small. Ah, this one's going to be the medium. Medium. What's this one? Oh, this one says big, 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 big. Big, medium, small, big, medium, small, big, 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 medium, small, small, small. <laughs> do you have some big, medium, small things around your house? What do you have? That is big, medium, and small. We found paint brushes. So we have the biggest paint brush here, the mediumest paint brush here, and the smallest paint brush right here. Big, medium, small. <laughs> Thank you so much for collecting big, medium, and small with me. Now let's read the book called Daddy Hugs One, Two, Three by Karen Katz. Here I come, it's Daddy. <laughs> there he is. Who's that? Is that a toddler? Or a baby? One, I'm so glad you're my baby hug. One. Two, teeny tiny finger hugs. One, two, <laughs> three, pat and burp the baby hugs, pat, 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 four, yay, you did it, 
first step hugs. Look at her. She's walking. <gasps> Four. Five. Kiss it all better. Boo boo hugs. Five. Oh, did she get hurt? Oh, kiss it all better. Six. I got you now. Hide and seek hugs. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Seven. Peekaboo pajama hugs. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> Eight. Dancing on daddy's feet. Cha-cha hugs. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Do you dance like that? Nine. Don't be afraid of the dark. Hugs. Oh, don't be afraid of the dark. Let's turn off the light. Give you nice big cuddles. What's this last number? Ten. I love you, 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 I love you. Good night, hugs. Good night. That's a daddy who loves a baby. Now let's practice counting down from ten all the way to one. We'll go from big all the way down to small. Then we'll put our numbers where they belong. So we have our number beads here and we have some big number beads and some small number beads. These are just little chains of beads that we put together to make chains of different sizes. So this one, this one's the smallest we have. This is a one. So we'll put that down here toward the where it says small. We have this other card up here that says big. So we'll be putting the bigger ones up here and the smaller ones down here. We're going to arrange them in order. All right. <sighs> Which one is a little bit bigger than this smallest one? Is it that one or that one? Oh, it's definitely this one. One. And then this one has how many? Two. Let's see if we can find one that's just a little bit bigger. There it is. That's our three. One, two, three. Here's our four. One, two, three, four. This one is five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one's already ready to go. Number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, we're getting bigger and bigger. Oh, which one of these do you think is seven? I think it's this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, now we need eight, nine, and ten. Can we find them? That one's probably eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that one's eight. And then we have nine and ten. Which one do you think would switch? Let's look at them. Which one's longer? Oh, that one's shorter. Oh. <gasps> Let's do that. Okay, and you know, it's kind of hard to tell which one's the biggest and which one's the smallest. So, let's line them up nice and orderly. So we have one side, all of them nice and tight. Oh, do you see how they're getting smaller? They're getting shorter, aren't they? As we go all the way down to the smallest. Ooh. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
All right, now let's practice counting down from 10 all the way to 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one of all, 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And what happens when we get to 1 and we are trying to get all the way to Mars? When that perseverance Mars Rover, Mars 2020, blasts off later this week. It'll go from 10 all the way to 1, and then blast off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How's it going to do that? It'll be in a rocket. Oh, that'll be so fun. So fun to watch rocket launches. Everything has to be done just right. Well, thanks for counting all the way from 10 to 1 with me, going from big to small. Now we'll read a book called Guess How Much I Love You. This is by Sam McBratney, illustrated by Anita Jaram. Little Nut Brown Hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to Big Nut Brown Hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure the big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said big nut brown hair. This much, said little nut brown hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they would go. Big nut brown hair had even longer arms. But I love you this much. He said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very high, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I had arms like that. Then... Little Nut Brown Hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him up over his head. Wow. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair, bouncing up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled the big nut brown hair. And he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. Oh, that's good hopping, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried little nut brown hair. I love you across the river and over the hills, said big nut brown hair. Oh, goodness. That's very far, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes, out into the big, dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. Big Nut Brown Hair settled Little Nut Brown Hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him good night. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. Oh, he got him good, didn't he? That is further. 
So let's talk about these little cards that I made. I made these three-part cards. So in our book, we talked about the moon, how far the moon is away from the earth, going to the moon and back. Well, wouldn't it be special if we could go to the moon? Oh, well, some astronauts have been to the moon 50 years ago. And there's some astronauts that are going to go back to the moon very, very soon. But in the meantime, we have some astronauts on the International Space Station right now. And they're coming home to Earth very soon. Now, the International Space Station. Here it is. I wrote ISS. That stands for the International Space Station. These are my three-part cards. I have the picture, and then I have the word, and then I have just the word. See, the word with the picture, the picture, and then the word. So you can match them. It's pretty fun. All right. Then I have the International Space Station is how far away from Earth, do you think? Oh, it's pretty far away. I've got all these numbers down here. We'll look at those in a minute. First, we'll get these all ordered, ordered up. The moon. This one's the moon. That matches, yeah. Moon. So, this one. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Moon. That one matches. Those letters match right up. Okay, now we'll figure out. The next two are going to be the Sun and Mars, but which one is which, I wonder. Hmm. This one is, oh, it says right there, Mars. Hmm. Very nice. Mars, and there's the other M word, M-A-R-S. Moon, Mars. Okay, and now we have the Sun. Sun. There we are. We matched all the cards. Now, did you know we have some rovers on Mars right now? But guess what? We're sending a new one in just a few days because we want to explore more. It'll be really great. And did you know that we're still exploring the sun too? We have the Parker Solar Probe out there right now. It's learning a lot of really interesting things about the sun. All right, let's see. Which one is closest to us, the sun or the International Space Station? <laughs> We're on Earth, so the International Space Station is a lot closer than the sun. Do you know what it's called, the distance between Earth and the sun? <sighs> the Earth and the sun is one AU away, which is also known as 149,598. Oh, no, that's not 1,000. That's bigger than 1,000. <gasps> oh, what a big number. This is going to need some help. Oh, Let's see. There's my friend, the abacus. This abacus helps me to understand numbers. Oh, goodness. We are going to come back to this abacus to understand this number better. Okay, that's a big number. That's how far away the sun is from the Earth. Well, which one of these do you think is talking about the International Space Station? Well, I think this one is, because that's the closest of all the ones we have here. 408 kilometers. That sounds about right. That's how far away the International Space Station is. Whew. That's a big number, 408 kilometers. Well, what about the moon? Which one of these do you think is the moon? Which one's bigger? This one has a lot of numbers, and this one has even more numbers. Oh, the one with more numbers is further away. Okay. And then there we go. That one. Okay. Whoa. whoa. Is this like big, medium, and small again? It 
kind of is. So this is the smallest number of all these really big numbers. And this is the biggest number of all of these really big numbers. Wow. You know, that is really, really useful to know. Big, medium, and small. We got it right here. All right, so let's start off with how far away the International Space Station is. Let's look at this number on our abacus. We have 408 kilometers. So when I'm doing a big number on the abacus, I think about this line right here is all about the ones. This is all about the tens. This is all about the hundreds. This is all about the thousands. And we'll go up from there. Oh, goodness. So this only goes up to hundreds. Whew. Let's start off with this first one. This is our first spot. This is 408. So this is an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We didn't use them all. Just 8. 0, that means nothing's going to be on the 10 spot. There is nothing in that spot. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four hundred, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, four hundred and eight. That's what that looks like on my abacus. Four hundred and eight kilometers. Ooh, that's a big number. But these numbers get even bigger bigger. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's look at this one. 384,400 kilometers. Oh, let's start here with this first one. This one's the ones. There is nothing on this one spot. That's a big zero. This is the tens. There is nothing on the ten spot. That's a big zero. This one, four. That's going to be in the hundred spot. 100, 200, 300, 400. That's a big number. Okay. Now we need to go to four for the thousands as well. One, two, three, four. Okay. 4,400. Now we still need to do these two numbers. So this is 84,400. So 80,000. That's going to be this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80, 4, 4, 0, 0. Okay, the next number here is 3. 1, 2, 3. Whoa, uh, hey, you know, that's not so hard. We can figure out how to write that out. 300. 84,400. That's actually kind of easy. That's not hard at all. It's a big number. I mean, it looks big on the paper. But, you know, we can move around the beats and it makes a lot of sense. Let's look and see. That was the moon. Let's see how far away Mars is. This is going to be further than the moon for sure. This is a far, far time of way. A far, far away. Okay, so this has something in the one spot. This one has a five. So let's make sure we get the five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we have a two, a 25. So that's in the 10 spot. 10, 20, 25. Now we have a zero in the 100 spot. In the thousands, we have a five. Mm -hmm. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Okay, now we need the four. One, two, three, four. See, 45,000. 25. Now we need the 2 in front of that. 2. 2,000. 45,000. 200,000. 245,000. <laughs> oh my goodness. These numbers are getting so big and so hard to say. Can we say that one again? 245,025. Now, we need to go all the way up to another line. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a nine. What's in the next spot? Another nine? Oh, that's going to look just like that one. 
There we go. Okay, let's say our big number together. 99,245,025. Whoa, that is a long way away. Okay, that was Mars. Now for the sun. Let's clear all these and move them away. Let's look at these really big numbers. Okay, you know, we've got it easy here. The first three numbers are nothing. So nothing in the ones, tens, or hundreds. Let's go all the way to the thousands, and we need ones, tens, hundreds. This one's the thousands. We need eight of those. And then we need nine. And then we need, what's that number? Five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? Then a nine. Oh my goodness, this is so big. Do I even have enough room? Then a four. One, two, three, four. And then a one. Oh, I do have enough room. Okay. Whoa. That is a big number. Can we say this together? 140. Nine million five hundred ninety-eight thousand kilometers away. That's how far away the sun is. <gasps> Whoa! That was big. All those really big numbers. Now, what if I just wanted to count down from ten with my abacus? Can I do that too? Do I really need to use all these big numbers when I do my abacus? I can just count down from ten. This is 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Oh, good. Whew, we can do easy numbers with our advocates, too. It doesn't always have to be hard. Oh, that's really good to know. Thank you so much for joining me today for Young Kids Math. We had a great time. First, we started off understanding big, medium, small. We read the book, Daddy Hugs, one, two, three. Then we moved on to talk about one through 10 and counting down all the way from 10 to one. Next, we read the book, Guess How Much I Love You. Then we talked about where things are and how far away they are. The International Space Station, the Moon, Mars, and the Sun. Oh, I really had a great time today with you at Young Kids Math. Now, I am really looking forward to next week, too. Take care. Remember, kids, we are problem solvers. You go out and you solve some problems today.